In this video, we're going to show you how you can add an overlay to any slide in your e-learning project. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. If you like what I'm doing here today, by all means, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your e-learning colleagues. There was a message on the forum about specifically having an overlay with some text and buttons, and the user was having a little trouble getting this to work the way that they wanted it to. So I'm gonna share that with you today. Okay, so I just have a basic project here, nothing too complicated here. On this slide, we're going to include our video. So let's start with that. We'll click on the Add Media Blocks icon. And there are two types of videos that you can add to an Adobe Captivate 12 or newer project. Slide video, which is synchronous with your project. In other words, if you're at the five second mark on a slide, you're gonna be at the five second mark in your video. Whereas regular video slides or blocks, they run independent or asynchronous with your project. So you could be watching a 20 minute video and have the whole thing contained on, on just a three second slide. So if you need your stuff to appear in time with certain events within the video, you're gonna want to choose slide video, which is what I'm going to do right now. Now the default slide video that they create for you, there's obviously a replace video icon in the center of the screen here. Let's do that first. I'm gonna click on that and I have three choices. I can bring in a video from the assets library. It's very doubtful that they'll have the video that you're looking for because it's just a small subset of videos. System is where you can select any video on your own computer system and web could be such a video as YouTube or Vimeo. Let's choose system because I have a video on my desktop that I'm going to use here. And there's a few things that I like to do with a slide that contains video. I, I wanna kind of disguise the fact that it's within a block. So usually what I do is I go up a layer till I get to slide background, and then I select black as my background. But before I just accept that as it is, let's do a little resizing of the video block itself. And you can select the block, expand alignment and spacing. And I like to do a couple of things. Auto layout, first of all. And let's make it 100% width. And I'm gonna first of all resize this video to basically fill my slide. And just to be sure, I'm gonna select auto fit height. If I don't choose auto fit height, the video will be more towards the upper side of the slide on other views, but this way it can be centered as well if you prefer that. Now let's go down to blank two where I happen to have a card with teamwork and a little message about teamwork here that maybe I wanna display at the five second mark of my video. In fact, one of the things that's really cool about overlay slides is you can take advantage of the fact that you can add audio to these as well. So let's copy this text. We'll go over to the audio icon in our right-hand toolbar. Make sure we're not selecting anything. You can click on the slide in the slide sorter and then choose the drop down next to import audio and choose generate text to speech. Let's select a voice. I'm gonna choose Cade and apply that to my first clip here. All we really need to do here is paste in the text that I copied. Let's just fix that color to make it white. And we can of course now generate audio and that text will become narration as well. Let's preview it. Teamwork is more than just working alongside others. It's about combining diverse strengths, perspectives, and experiences to reach a common goal. Awesome, so that sounds good. We can close that down. 
The other thing I like to do with overlay slides is make the background of the slide transparent. So a paused version of the video will show through. So we can click on the more detailed color picker icon here and just set this to zero. And that way you can see that the background is completely transparent in this case. Now let's go back to our first slide here. And we need to mark on our timeline when these overlays appear. So let's just expand this here. I'm going to need two bookmarks for this particular slide. The first one will be very close to the beginning of the slide. And I'm going to call this Begin. Okay, you'll see that in the slide interactions area here. I don't actually need to set an action for a bookmark but we'll show you an example of that in just a moment. I'm gonna slide this bookmark as far to the beginning as possible. And now I'm going to select a point on my ruler here, my timeline. And we'll just say the five second mark, but typically you would select a point where there's a break in the narration, where your overlay kind of makes sense. In this case, I don't have any audio on the video itself, so I can put it just about anywhere. But I'll go ahead and press the plus diamond icon, and we will call this one Teamwork. Now over here in the interactions portion of the Properties Inspector, we can set an action for Teamwork. So when we reach the five second mark, we're going to run a particular action, and this action will be to add an overlay. I'm going to click on this in just a second here, but watch what happens over here in my slide sorter when I do that. I'll select the teamwork slide, click done, and you'll notice that the slide that I'm using as an overlay kind of tucks up into an area dedicated to our first slide here, our first video slide, and it gives you this icon to suggest that it isn't in fact an overlay. Now let's return to our overlay slide. And one of the things that we have here are several buttons. So if I select the continue video button, I can set an action for that. And your first thought might be to go to next slide or something like that, but this is not the case. We want to actually resume the playback of our video on slide one. And to do that, we just click the more action and select Resume Timeline. Click Done, and that's logged in. Now I created that bookmark at the very beginning of the video slide for just such an occasion where you might need to jump to a different bookmark within the video. This could be useful for, let's say, building your own interaction where students need to make a choice between answering a question or leaving a customer alone or something like that, you can have different points on the timeline of your video and turn it into kind of a choose your own adventure type thing. In this case, this is very simple. I just simply want to give students the opportunity to restart the video if they wish. So we'll select that button and we'll go to more and we'll scroll down until we find jump to bookmark. When I select that, you'll see all the bookmarks I've created for this project here. And in this case, we want to choose Begin. And we'll click Done. And we're good to go. Let's test this out and see how it works. OK, so there's our video. Teamwork is more than just working alongside others. It's about combining diverse strengths, perspectives, and experiences to reach a common goal. So we can restart this video if we want to see the earlier portion of that video again. Teamwork is more than just working alongside others. It's about combining diverse strengths, perspectives, and experiences to reach a common goal. And once we're satisfied with this, this overlay, we can continue playing the video from the point that it was paused at. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com.
and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.